We talk often as a school is helping students find their passion, so it's so exciting to see that you found it in the work you're doing. And the mentor piece, I would just put a side note in that uh, many of our programs, Vantage, our research program, uh, we're doing some work in our trades uh, group of finding mentors. So there's always opportunities to reconnect with our students with some of the mentor opportunities that we have. Now to induct a new member into the Skippers Hall of Fame. The Skippers Hall of Fame recognizes outstanding achievement by alumni in the arts, uh, academics, and athletics. This year's inductee is Rob LaRue from the class of 1997. Rob LaRue stands out as one of Minnetonka's most accomplished multi-sport athletes, excelling in football, hockey, and baseball during his time at Minnetonka High School. Rob set records in hockey and became an all-time leader in wins, saves, and games, and games played. In football, he set a, a school and state records for reception and yards. By the time he graduated, he had won awards in all three sports, most notably earning the All-State Honors in multiple sports, sports and being named uh, 1997 Minnetonka Male Athlete of the Year Award. Also was one of my students in Spanish and did very well on that as well. So uh, please, introducing Rob in his former high school, and this video is his former high school baseball coach, Mark McKenzie. Hello, I am honored to be introducing Robbie LaRue as the newest member of the Minnetonka High School Athletic Hall of Fame. Rob played baseball for me at Minnetonka in 1995, 96, and 97. During that time, the Skippers won either the Classic Lake Conference title or Region 6 championship, or on multiple occasions, they won both. Rob was an incredibly versatile baseball player. He excelled at first base, but he could also cover a ton of ground in the outfield where he possessed a strong and accurate throwing arm. Rob could hit for average and for power. He was also one of the fastest runners on the diamond in the state of Minnesota. In addition to starring on the baseball field, Rob was also a tremendous receiver on the football team. He excelled also as a goalie on the hockey club. He was a three-sport captain, receiving all-conference honors twice in all three sports. Rob was named to the All-State team in both football and baseball. He was also honorable mention All-State in hockey. Rob was an excellent student. He carried a 3.6 GPA while receiving National Honor Society and academic All-State recognitions. Following high school, Rob went on to the University of Minnesota, where he doubled majored in finance and marketing, while enrolled in the Carlson School of Management. While at the U, Rob lettered in football, hockey, and baseball, and is the last University of Minnesota student athlete to participate and letter in three different sports, an incredible accomplishment. Following his college experience, Rob has worked at Baldwin Supply Company, which is a third generation family business. Currently, he resides as the president of the company, which will be celebrating their 100th year in business next year. Rob and his wife, Danielle, live in Wyzetta, and they have three beautiful children. Evidently, one child for each sport that Rob played in high school and college. For the record, I just made that up. Rob and Daniel have two sons, Luke, seven, Colin, six, and their beautiful four-year-old daughter, Alex. It is my honor to introduce Hall of Famer, Robbie LaRue. Uh, time flies. Thank you, Lunch. Uh, it's great to hear his voice. It's been a while since I saw him. It was great to connect through this process and we shared some good memories. Um, still to this day, I remind myself when I do my action list every Monday, preparation, anticipation, execution. That's something uh, Lunch and his staff uh, spoke of every day to us as, uh, as uh, athletes. Uh, it feels like yesterday I was here at M MHS Time flies, but I'll tell you, to echo what some of the others have said, I do not recognize this place. Uh, I couldn't tell you where we, where we are uh, right now from back when I was in high school. Um, you know, time really does fly. Everybody tells you, especially when you're in high school and college, time flies, time flies, enjoy the moment. And eventually it hits you. It's like, holy cow, everybody was right. You know, I'd, it just feels like it's humming along, and then all of a sudden, boom, it flies. So... Um, I really want to thank the Alumni Association for the great honor. Congratulations on all the others receiving recognition today. Uh, really some inspiring words. I've been sitting back there going, whoa, this is going to be a tough act to follow today. Um, I'd like to thank Scott and Neil Kulong, uh, former teammates, uh, for feeling that I was deserving of their nomination and their kind words. Uh, thanks to my family and friends for being here today. 
Uh, my wife, Danielle, son, Luke, Colin, and Alex. Thank you, kids, for your patience and being so quiet over there. Uh, good job today. Uh, thanks to my longtime friend and teammate, Benny Jopru, for being here today. Benny had the honor of having his jersey retired last weekend at the Skipper game, so that was a great honor for Benny. Just wanted to recognize that. Uh, most people, I'll get, quickly get on to my uh, thoughts in Minnetonka, but most people have told the story so many times, I go, how in the heck did you play three sports at the University of Minnesota? Uh, there's a bit, it's a, I'll give you the quick version. There's obviously a lot of time and effort and uh, mentorship and coaching and all that that went into it, but it was a bit of the right time at the right place. Uh, my so, my, I was fortunate to play, go to the U to play baseball and football and did that my freshman year. My sophomore year, we played football. The last game of the season was against the Indiana Hoosiers. If we win, we go to a bowl game. If we lose, the season's done. Um, we lost that game by a missed field goal at the last second. So we missed the bowl, season was done. We had our football banquet the next Sunday night, or the next day, Sunday. And uh, frankly, you know, we were bummed about not going to the bowl game, but I was looking forward to a couple weeks off and not lifting weights, getting through finals, and then getting to Thanksgiving. Well, uh, I was up for a big surprise Monday morning when I woke up. Didn't have class that day, so I slept in, read uh, the newspaper. Notice on the front cover of the newspaper, said two goalies leave the hockey team. And I go, whoa, it caught my attention. Read the article, I get to the end of the article, it said, look for Rob LaRue to be backing up Friday night against the defending national champion Michigan Wolverines. <laughs> I'll tell you, my face almost planted my cereal and I said, holy cow. So, uh, so I went into Coach Woog's office and next thing you know, I was on a conference call with Glenn Mason, John Anderson, and uh, they were, so supportive and said, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, go for it. Next thing you know, I'm getting fitted for gear. I'm wearing my old Skipper blue uh, pads and uh, the strap broke. And I'm like, well, I hadn't been on ice in 18 months. I was a 245 pound tight end. I'm just thinking to myself, I hopefully can remember how to stop the puck. But fortunately it all worked out. I had a great year. I played the entire season with the team, got into a handful of games and I went to baseball after that. Uh, now Minnetonka, when, time, when I reflect on growing up, Minnetonka and my time at MHS, what an awesome community to grow up in. Man, was I lucky. It was filled with so much in inspiration and a foundation of life lessons. The academics and the teachers were exceptional. I had so many great teachers who truly cared, several of which I've seen today. Thank you to all the coaches I had at MHS, a few of the most impactful, we're in football, Miles Ginther. It was great to see Miles today. It had been a long time. Uh, Mike Lefty Larson, uh, George Sukup, and the great Walt West. I teach my boys still to this day the Eagle Claw, hold the ball t uh, high and tight, and that came from Walt West. In hockey, I had Tom Klein as a coach for four years. In four great years, we, we uh, made a state tournament appearance, and then in baseball, Lunch McKenzie, Steve Comer, and Joe Comer, they were the greatest. Those two years of high school baseball were so memorable and impactful. All these coaches made a positive impact on my life, were so encouraging and understanding in regards to playing multiple sports. That doesn't necessarily always happen today. Uh, all the youth and high school sports in Minnetonka created such a sense of community. I was always inspired growing up watching the older skippers play. Whether it was state tournament runs in hockey, Friday nights watching the high school football, or even just watching the older kids play at Bennett Park. There was also a magic to competing against and with buddies in various sports growing up. Those times are unforgettable. I also have to mention the Ivy Lane and Boulder Creek crew. We had a neighborhood of all ages, grade school to high school. We played and competed in every sport endlessly with imagination, passion, and we were outside in the yard, drive, we were at the park. I can remember playing goal at Boulder Creek Park. I was six years old playing against the high school team. And uh, some great memories. But really, when I look back at my time at MHS, it's about the teams I was on and the teammates I played with. In all three sports, I played on some exceptional teams. 
some of the all-time best, with so many outstanding athletes and friends. This individual is honored as a result of having such a great group. We pushed each other, we were competitive, worked hard, and had fun. I have so many lifelong friendships and memories with you. Thank you to all of you. To, to my parents, uh, number one, for living in Minnetonka, thank you for that. Dad, thank you for your endless coaching and for teaching me the magic words, I can, I am, I will. You taught me the power of a positive attitude, work ethic, setting goals, and writing those goals down. Mom, thank you for teaching balance, the importance of academics and discipline, and making me play football after I quit my freshman year to concentrate on hockey. Fortunately, that lasted only one week. Ult ultimately, we went on to have a freshman undefeated football season. A few years later, I was being recruited by dozen, dozens of Division I football schools across the country. It taught me that you never know where your opportunities might come from, and not to make a decision before you have to. To this day, people still ask me what my favorite sport was. I say it changed with the season. One sport always fueled my passion for the next. But, but today, I can safely tell you, my favorite sport is golf. Uh, Thank you again to the Alumni Association and for this great honor. I truly appreciate it.